Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I was going to do a top 10 uh, dupes video for you this week, but this week was really hectic. A few things come up, so that's why this is so late. <laughs> I didn't have time to get everything out, like get the colognes out and really think about what my top 10 would be. So next week, it'll be the top 10. Uh, oops, <laughs> I found my old uh, rugby t-shirt. <laughs> still fits, barely, but it still fits. My old high school rugby t-shirt. Rugby's fun game. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, I'm going to review, do a review for you on what I wore this week. I was trying to decide between a Zero and Penguin. It was kind of 50-50. Uh, but it was a very... Weather-wise, it was a nice week. So the nice fall, warm fall days. You know, I mean, the sun's out. And when the wind dies down, you can catch a windbreak. It's actually hot. So I decided to go with Penguin. It's a little more suited for this time of year. Um, so yeah, that's what I went with. I wore Penguin. And uh, show you the box. That's the box. Little Penguin on it. <laughs> kind of cute. <laughs> I like penguins. Shut up. <laughs> yep, penguin original blend. Uh, <clears throat> I've seen a lot of these around. This one and a couple other ones I never really bought. Uh, mainly because there was just something else. No reason. Just something else I wanted to buy. I finally broke down and bought one after seeing them around and hearing people talk about them and stuff. Um... This was my first one, maybe it shouldn't have been, but I'll get into that. Um, there's a bottle. I actually really like this bottle. Um, it's heavy, man. It's a very good quality, good quality glass, man. It is heavy. One of the heaviest ones I own. Um, cap is nice as rubber. Doesn't click into place, but it goes on pretty snug. Atomizer is nice. Hard time seeing it when I first opened it. This is like the same color as the other one. Um, but I'll, uh, I'll give you the spray here when I get into it. Um, so yeah, that's the old penguin. Penguin. I love penguins, man. Real penguins or animated penguins, they're fucking awesome. Happy Feet's hilarious. The dancing penguin. With a little rat and penguin. Remember a little rat and penguin from Happy Feet? Don't push me. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So. <clears throat> 2017 was what I found. I thought it was earlier than that, but it's what I could find. Maybe it was. Don't uh, nail me to the cross or anything. I just what I could find. Ah. Uh, Accords are fresh, spicy, citrus, musky, aromatic, powdery, woody. Uh, top notes are bergamot, lime, apple. Mid is lavender, nutmeg, and suede. Base is sandalwood, musk, and uh, amber. Dry down here. This is a hit or miss for me. Uh, the initial blast, I'll give you a spray of it now. As soon as I find that tip, there it is. Still hard time. Not a bad atomizer. We gotta give this one a second. A lot of alcohol off top. There we go. The initial blast, I really like. Like, really heavy on that apple. Uh, really heavy. It's like lime and apple. But the problem is, is that only lasts five minutes. And then <clears throat> something happens. 
where the scent almost turns. I hate to say it because a lot of people are going to like this one. But I get like a B.O. vibe off of it. Something makes like the apple and the lime. I don't know if it mixes with the nutmeg and the suede. <clears throat> and it just gives me a, a slight B.O. Not like somebody who hasn't showered in weeks. and Just, you know, it, you, know you get that slight B.O. You've been working all day. and You know, it's been a pretty rough day at work. And, you know, you've gone out. Know, 11, 12 hours later, it's time to take that shower and you get that little whiff of yourself every now and then, like, ooh, you know, like, yeah, I kind of get that vibe from it. It's starting to come now, actually. And the problem is that vibe to me lasts like three hours. It's unfortunate. Um, but after that, the dry down kicks in and the, uh, musk and sweet amber take over and it's a musky, sweet, musky, well, powdery lavender scent, uh, which is very nice. And that lasts about three hours. The scent in total lasts about seven hours, which is pretty good, especially for being classified as a light scent. Um, I get about seven hours on my skin, about nine hours on my clothes. This is what I wanted to get into. <clears throat> um, I will wear this, but I won't wear it on skin. On my clothes... There's something in my skin chemistry that really makes this go sour. But on my clothes, it never really gives me that, that B.O. vibe. Um, it kind of stays that sweet lime and apple. And you get the nutmeg and the suede in the mid. Uh, they say lavenders in the mid. It is, but it the, the nutmeg suede... Apple and citrus kind of dominate the first few hours of this scent. Then the lavender. You can, you can smell the lavender, but then it really starts to take over with the uh, sandalwood and musk and amber when the dry down comes in. Like I said, it becomes like a powdery, woody, musky, sweet scent. Uh, very nice. Very nice on my clothes. On my skin, no. Something about my skin that just eats this up, man. Just makes it go funky. Whew, there it is there. I'll put that dry down. Whew, it's nice. <clears throat> so I'm not upset that I, I was at first and thinking, oh my God, but then I wore it on my clothes instead of my body and worked good worked good worked really well actually um like i said longevity was good six eight hours on my skin nine ten on my clothes um didn't project as well off my clothes but then it's you shouldn't you're not getting the full-on contact with your body heat um still projected for about an hour on my clothes i'm a little longer than that, about an hour and a half and uh foot and a half out there on my skin on the other hand I got about two hours projection on it and it projected a couple feet out there fortunately I stunk like B.O. to my nose but it's what it is you may not have that problem um, but I know it smells good when I wore it on my clothes I got no compliments the first day, two days I wore it on my skin um, nobody said I stunk or anything but and the third day, I said, I'm going to wear it on my clothes. And three of the girls I'd been working with two nights before that, didn't say a thing, asked me what I was wearing. Said so they liked it. it was sweet. Sweet was the big thing. Uh, and it is sweet, but not overly sweet. Um, 
lot of girls really picked up on the, uh, obviously the amber and the apple. And uh, believe it or not, the lavender. They like the powderiness of it. Uh, so I got three compliments from them girls. And then I asked, you know, half a dozen other people what they thought. And the, the ongoing consensus was that it's sweet and powdery. Light was another one. It is a light scent. At the same time, it's heavy, if that makes sense. I can't really describe it. It really sits on your skin. Um, 20 bucks, not bad. Definitely performance-wise. And I will wear it. It's just going to be on a clothes type thing. Try to keep it away from my skin. Buy it, try it on your skin. Maybe it's just my skin. Um, maybe it'll work fine off of yours. I wish it worked better off my skin, but... Works okay off my clothes, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, a lot of people comparing this to a Boss Bottled by Hugo Boss. I don't get that comparison at all. I think they're just reading the notes and either not comparing the two, just comparing the notes. Because Boss Bottled is that spicy apple pie, you know what I mean? And this has got apple in it and nutmeg and they're thinking oh spice and apple smells like or they're tricking themselves into think because it doesn't smell i mean it's got a tinge of that to it but it's not similar at all don't don't think you're getting a a dupe of boss bottle because you're not completely different scents and in a good way there's, there's nothing wrong with either one of them just completely different scents it kind of like say just a slight be oh nothing gross like oh just on my skin, it's just, yeah. <sighs> yeah, that's really all I have to say about it. It, it. it performed good, it smelled good. Girls like it. What more do you want? Um, yeah. Like I said, I'd buy it if I were you guys, if you could find it. I found it for 20 bucks. I don't know how much they usually go for, but that seems to be about the, the going rate. That's Canadian, too, so don't message me if you're, it's $13.99 here. Yeah, well, here is America. That's Canadian, 20 bucks, so not too bad. So, yeah, I'll be back <clears throat> next week with, uh, I just said, like I said, some stuff happened this week that was unexpected, so made for a real busy week. Um, nothing bad again, just life. So, yeah, so you're lucky you're getting this one because I wasn't even sure if I was going to be able to get this out to you today. Um, but it's three in the morning. I just finished doing laundry. Figured, eh, I'll give this a shot. See if I can get a video out. So, yeah, guys, that's it. Give it a try. I would if I were you. Works pretty good off my clothes, not off my skin. I don't know if you'll have that problem. If anybody else, if you do have this and have that problem, let me know. Just or maybe it's just my nose and my skin fucking with the chemistry. But can't all be winners on everybody, right? So yeah, I'll be back next week with the top ten. I don't wanna say top ten. My favorite ten. Um clones for winter fall and winter um that's another thing this is definitely a fall or spring scent i don't think i do it in the summer be a little too heavy for the summer and the winter i may not cut through the cold but i'll get into talk about that in that scent when i do the top 10 about something i want to say about that so guys peace and love be good to each other